what's up scoundrels this is clash coming to you with a video on genosians given their rework specifically if nest is still a viable counter and i gotta tell you i was a little nervous reading through some of these kits um, obviously the stagger days and blind from uh slum fact didn't look fun looking at poggle getting the all the offense stacking the turn meter removal um, that was a bit concerning really didn't like that at all either um, and I think the the one that shocked me the most and maybe this is just something I missed earlier was spy um, spy it's really hard and I I mean I got it I knew that you know that spy hits hard but I was not prepared for just how hard spy can hit because in all the times I've tested this in the past uh, I've never been hit as hard as I am about to show you in my video as what Spy did. Uh, the worst thing, of course, is Genosian Soldier getting tenacity down on basic. That to me was just a, you know, kind of a bummer uh, because I think that makes all those other things that you, you see in their kit more viable, right? So tenacity down basically takes the high tenacity nest and makes it much more challenging. Fortunately, it's not the absolute worst thing because I kind of reckon, I liken this to maybe a Padme with a C3PO comp. And what I mean by that is you're gonna get dazed, you're probably not gonna move a lot. And in that case, no big deal because you can still attack between turns. The critical damage that you get is going to be continuing to move up because even though you're not removing the buffs with your basic they're still falling off on their own and that in and of itself is going to ramp up for damage so as long as the turn meter removal isn't greater than the ability to just generate the turn meter from your own speed which again mine isn't that high i only have 26 speed it really shouldn't be that big of a deal but i will say you know spoiler alert here Solo nest, not really an option. I, I maybe there's a way, and I'm missing it. And I obviously love your comments, but my stats on nest are pretty good. This uh, comp that you see here, it's not a G13 brood, obviously, but it's got all the zetas. All of them have their megas. A lot of G12, G12 plus on the on the other uh, bugs, but still think that it's it's not gonna matter right how good your nest is because uh, even with as high tenacity as i have and as good a health as i have um there is nothing that i probably i don't know anything that i could have done other than maybe play it a little bit differently i'm not sure um because what ends up happening is i get hit by a stealth spy and that right there basically puts puts the does it and that stealth attack from <laughs> spy uh almost made me spit out my coffee because it hit me for three hundred twenty six thousand health <laughs> uh unreal so i thought okay well that's that's not gonna work maybe maybe if we look at it from a akira nest perspective and this actually kind of worked so what you're going to see here is me doing my very best to play it, like I mentioned earlier, just like the Padme, Padme comp with C-3PO. I, I will get dazed and I will do my best to attack between turns, but I definitely think your, your best option and thing, thing you need to focus on the most is getting down the Brute Alpha. Um, I would try your very best to avoid killing others because the more killing you do, obviously, the more offense they're going to get from the new uh, Poggle update. So um, I'm going to let this play out so you can see exactly how it worked. Um, and then I'm going to come back with just a couple of other uh, comments and thoughts uh, showing you two other attempts uh, very quickly and uh, maybe some of the other warnings that I had from it.
So, yay, of course, after having a single victory, I thought, well, I must be on to something. And so I tried it again and because I, I want to make sure that, you know, it's a viable counter and it doesn't have any, you know, it wasn't just a fluke. Um, and I, I lose again. And the main reason I lose is the same reason I lost the first time at Spy. Someone asked me in the modding discords over earlier what the difference between offense and damage is because you'll you'll read some of the abilities say increases damage, some say increase offense. And simply put, the offense is a like one number inside the larger formula that creates the output of damage. And damage is damage is what it's what you get at the end. And if you have a multiplier on that, if something says increases damage by X percent based on one, two, three, four things, like Spy having buffs, Nest having debuffs, it gets uh, real ugly real quick. And so um, there, there is gonna be a little bit of RNG, it seems, to this as a counter. It doesn't uh, concern me that Nest gets debuffed, that she gets dazed, that it takes a little bit of time and patience to make sure you're doing it right. Because you, as you'll see here, I run it again, and I am successful this time. Uh, I do still go with my original strategy, take out Brute Alpha as fast as possible, and then from there, you can much more easily manage the damage that they're doing. And, and, and it really isn't too much of a problem after that, because they're not equalizing health, and they don't have the, uh, the hive mind tactic going on. So... Um, I hope this was useful. Um, I am, of course, as uh, you saw at the beginning, on to 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out. And if you have any questions, again, please hit me in the comments below or in the Discord. Um, much appreciated.